Library services. What kinds of services do libraries have that respond well to being moved into a mobile kind of realm? Um, there's a lot of really obvious ones. Reference. Reference services moving into a mobile realm is a pretty easy thing overall to do. Um, the most common way this is done is through SMS, through text reference. Right? You can take and answer questions via text. Um, and different libraries have done this in different ways. Some actually buy a cell phone and keep it you know, with the responsible party. And you just walk around and you answer your text just as if you were responsible for the chat reference exactly the same model, it's just a slightly different communication uh, method. There are also services that will integrate your IM and your SMS reference streams. So you have a single point of contact for no matter how someone is kind of coming to you. Uh, the one that's most popular in academic libraries is called Library Help. Um, I don't know if anybody is familiar with Library Help or not, but um, it, it, it's, it's actually, it's hard to, it's hard to Google because it's library, help, and help is a three instead of a little, little, little branding there. Um, but library help is a, is a service that was written by uh, an academic librarian at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. It's an IM service for libraries. It's written specifically with libraries in mind. It has a lot of interesting things that it will do, and you can Google it and find all about it. Uh, find out all about it. But one of the things that it does is it, it will allow you to integrate your SMS reference with your chat reference. So you can take and answer SMS messages just like you would a chat, um, which is really interesting. Um, obviously, you can do email reference because most smartphones do email these days. So you can you can integrate your virtual reference kind of position into the mobile realm without a whole lot of trouble. Um, Instruction. A lot of libraries these days are concentrating on trying to kind of increase the amount of instruction they're doing, bibliographic instruction, search instruction, whatever. Instruction is an area that I think is going to change mobily. Right now, providing things mobily like screencasts, uh, videos, explanatory videos, how do you do something, uh, or even web pages that walk you through a search process, those sorts of instructional objects are pretty easy to develop and, and send mobily. Um, actual face-to-face -face instruction isn't something that's particularly easy to do with a mobile device these days, but that's really a limit of the network and the devices and not of the kind of not something that's intrinsic to doing instruction. As the devices get faster and the network gets faster, it will be much, much easier for people to do kind of remote virtual instruction to a mobile sort of uh, platform. Uh, one of the rumors for the iPhone this past summer was that it was going to have a front-facing camera so that you could look at it and, ch and video chat with somebody. That didn't actually happen. Uh, but there's no reason it can't, and it probably will. And um, there's no reason that if you're doing a, as an example, we're recording what I'm doing right now, there's no reason that couldn't be piped out over the net and then delivered to people watching it on a mobile phone out in the park. Um, that's a, a limitation of the technology right now, not a limitation of the form. And I think that's going to, again, as things get faster and cheaper, it's just going to change. Um, so cert other services, I mean, interlibrary loan is a service that uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of libraries are uh, still caught up in trying to figure out the best way to handle. Um, anytime you're delivering something electronically, which is 90% of interlibrary loan these days, at least for us, um, I don't know, how much is most of your interlibrary loan? Real or virtual? Real. Virtual. Real. 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 Uh, disagreement. <laughs> okay. We're doing, but most all of ours are delivered as PDFs and just, you know, electronically sent out. Um, I think that's definitely the way we'll end up going. And um, as such, I mean, you, can, you know, it's an email. You deliver something electronically. Um, and here's the, here's the part where I'm interested in, in getting a little discussion going for a few minutes, and that is I actually had trouble coming up with library services that I didn't think would work mobily. So what do you do that just does not work in a mobile world? 